With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello everyone. So in this question we have one in one dimensional motion, instantaneous speed v satisfies uh, v between 0 and v0. Okay. Then uh, these are the four options. So before getting on to the options, let us revise uh, one dimensional motion right now one dimensional motion is the motion of a particle when it moves along only one of the axis okay so let's say if this is x axis uh, then the motion of the particle will uh, only be constricted to this axis and not in y axis now here the particle can move in either of the directions in right side or to the left side okay let's say if this is the origin uh, so therefore this will be zero so here this will be positive okay and here this will be negative x and in the question we are given that the instantaneous speed okay so this means that v right uh, as it is instantaneous speed so it will be equal to dx by dt this ranges from v0 right the maximum value it can achieve that will be less than v0 and this will be less than equal to 0 okay so from 0 to v0 the instantaneous speed will vary now this means the magnitude can vary from 0 to v0 but the velocity vector right uh, this can go on either of the direction towards the positive or towards the negative so v vector can have positive or negative values okay so now let us look at option 1 the displacement in time t must always take on negative uh, values right now this is not true as we can see that displacement can al uh, also take positive values if the particle is moving from this point to the positive x axis then this will be x2 right and let's say this will be x1 so in this case the displacement will be x2 minus x1 uh, that will be positive okay so this means option 1 is incorrect option 2 is the displacement x in time t satisfies x between minus of v0 t to uh, v0 t right now we know that velocity is given as displacement upon time t so from here displacement will be equal to velocity times t right and in the question we can see that the maximum limit to speed is v0 right it cannot be greater than v0 but then as we discussed that velocity can be positive or negative right depending upon the direction so here we can see that the maximum v0 value can go up to positive x-axis and also towards the negative x-axis right so from this we can say that displacement cannot be greater than um, v0 right v0 t and it cannot be less than minus of v0 t if it goes to the negative x axis so therefore this option is correct now let us look at the option 3 uh, the acceleration is always non negative number now acceleration is also a vector right and here again uh, acceleration can be negative depending upon the direction and it can be positive right so therefore option 3 is incorrect option 4 is the motion has no turning points this is also incorrect because here we can see that if a particle is going to positive x direction it can come to stop and then change its direction towards the negative x direction right and in that case it will turn so therefore the correct option will be option 2 for class 6 to 12 itg and neat level trusted by more than 5 crore students download doubt and app today